Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today, yet again, we're talking about Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster that's still in space, still flying around, and still being bombarded by the solar radiation and slowly stripped away of its beauty. Today we're going to be talking about the concept of moons, and today, you're going to find out if this beautiful car can actually have a moon of its own. So in other words, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it, um, if it's possible for this car to, say, have like... I don't know what can be really, really small, like some kind of a piece of the paint or possibly maybe Elon Musk's smartphone uh, accidentally left in the car orbiting around it and uh, creating a permanent moon of the car. Now, um, technically speaking, because everything has gravity, theoretically, everything can have a moon. So in other words, if I take the Roadster and put it right here in space and uh, take another object, let's say this beautiful pumpkin, and uh, place it in orbit around the roadster, it should actually fly around it, just like a typical uh, permanent moon, similar to the moon that we have. However, this is just a theory. And here, what's missing is other objects. When it comes to various objects in space, um, and this is actually something that many people have been asking me to do a video about, um, you can't really have a moon of the 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 object permanently. In other words, um, this pumpkin could maybe have its own moon, maybe, but at some point you're going to reach... Um, okay, here we go, there's a teapot uh, moon that's going to happen here. At some point you're going to reach a point where you can no longer have moons of moons. In other words, oh, even here, see how it's actually flying away? Uh, even here, the gravitational attraction of Tesla Roadster causes the pumpkin to lose its own moon and no longer have a moon of its own. This is actually, I don't know, I just realized how funny this is. There's a teapot, a pumpkin, and a Tesla Roadster. I just created the strangest uh, gravitational system in the world. But anyway, so um, as you can see, it didn't really keep the moon. But why did that happen? Why can't it have its own moon? And the answer to this is a concept known as Hill Sphere. Uh, there's a video I made, um, I think maybe a year ago, or possibly a little bit longer than that, explaining this in more detail. But what you need to understand is, depending on the actual gravitational attraction of this object, um, you actually may or may not have moons of the other object. So this is one of the reasons why Mercury actually doesn't have any moons. Its hill sphere is not very large and it can't really maintain moons um, in general. Or actually it can, but it's very difficult for it. So generally speaking, uh, for Earth, at a distance of one astronomical unit, which is the distance from the Sun, um, the hill sphere is around here. It's about 1% of 1 AU, so it's close to about 1.5 million kilometers. And so we can actually have a moon, um, technically at least, uh, up to about 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. But after that, it's going to escape the Earth's uh, gravitational attraction and then become the moon of the Sun. So this particular concept is really important in trying to understand whether um, Elon Musk's Tesla can also have a moon. So even though in this simulation in Universe Sandbox, it clearly can have this pumpkin moon orbiting around it, we need to actually calculate the hill sphere of Tesla uh, to figure out if it can have a moon and how far away a moon can ex actually exist. So let's uh, go to one of the many, many websites that are out there and basically do some calculations. We need to first decide where we're going to measure this from. So I actually decided to do this at this distance, which is um, just a little bit past the orbit of Mars. And if you were to look at the distance here, I think it says about 1.7 astronomical units away from the sun. So that's farther away than Mars and Earth. Uh, so it does have a slightly higher chance of having a stable moon in this location, because the farther away from the sun you are, the bigger the hill sphere gets. And um, first we can obviously just go ahead and try it. We can actually try to see if we can, okay, let's accelerate them a little bit. Um, we can see if we can place that pumpkin here again, and whether it's going to be stable. And this was a distance of about, I guess, a few meters away from Tesla. And okay, it does look like it's staying there. It looks like it possibly is in orbit, but it might not be really stable. So we need to do some math here and try to calculate it. So the distance is about 1.7 astronomical units. We also need the mass of the sun, and we also need the mass of Roadster, which is here it says 1300 kilograms. 
So all of this is required to calculate the Hill Sphere to find out where the moons can potentially exist. And so the formula is right here, and according to this website, which is orbitsimulator.com, uh, the Hill Sphere for Tesla Roadster is approximately 151 meters, which is actually, when you think about it, pretty far away. In other words, technically speaking, so let's just remove this pumpkin from here, we could have uh, the uh, aforementioned smartphone that was forgotten in the car by the ever forgetful Elon Musk at a distance of up to about 150 meters, which is I think somewhere right here. Yeah, there it is, there is that location. Uh, 150 meters away from the car, which is about 450 feet. Now that's pretty crazy when you think about it. Um, that is a pretty far away distance. And so that means that the Tesla Roadster has enough gravity to have its own tiny miniature smartphone moon. And by the way, this is not a sponsorship, although if you are willing to sponsor this channel and give me a free smartphone, I am open to discussions. Actually, probably not. I don't really like sponsorships. But anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that this pumpkin could technically orbit the Roadster at a distance of up to 150 meters. So to answer the question of whether the beautiful and very expensive to launch Tesla Roadster can actually have its own moon? The answer is yes, it can, up to 150 meters. But assuming, of course, its mass is much lower than the Roadster. If its mass is much higher, it then becomes a binary system and that calculation doesn't really work as well anymore. You do need to use a slightly different calculation and maybe one day we'll talk about this in one of the future videos. For now though, that's kind of all I wanted to show you and I wanted to answer the question that many people have been asking well, not this specific question, but the question of moons of the moons of the moons. So, uh, Heliosphere does actually create a limit where at some point the moon of the moon of the moon no longer works. It basically just becomes the moon of a bigger object. And so, that's kind of it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about Heliosphere, science, and Tesla Roadster right here. And uh, come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out, and as always, bye-bye. And by the way, thank you so much to all of the uh, Patreon supporters. I really appreciate all your help. As many of you know, uh, this is actually my primary job now, so I do kind of depend on the money that I make there. Uh, at the same time, I'm not really asking you to be a supporter, but if you would like to contribute a little bit, pretty much everything helps at this point. Anyway, on that note, thank you for watching again. I hope you enjoyed the video tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.